Well, quantum physics is a weird thing. You got the quantum realm in Marvel movies. And you have all these people like CERN and everything that are saying openly that they will break into the third realm. And if they can discover the Higgs boson particle or the God particle, then they can unlock limitless energy. And they will, they're, they're even claiming that they can uh, open up a dimension so that we can have limitless power and never see the universe ever the same again. And I've made the claim that modern quantum physics is nothing more than alchemy and the occult and a modern, really just a modern version of it is all it is. And something just came out just the other day, about three days ago, that sort of verifies what I'm saying. This stuff is not good. It is what the Bible calls science, falsely so-called. Don't go away. All right, guys, thank you very much. I'm doing a mobile edition of the Bible Bunker today. I've never had to make my bed to do a YouTube video ever before, but we're going to do one today. <laughs> and uh, it's funny, we're in here in Ohio preaching and uh, be having a great service here at the Grace Baptist Church, Crestline, Ohio, throughout the rest of the week. Looking forward to seeing you guys. If you can come out, I want to show you guys this uh, in the Bible, of course. It's the word science. And First uh, Timothy 6.20 about, uh, oh, Timothy, keep that which is committed to thy trust, avoiding profane and vain babblings and oppositions of science falsely so called. And it says there in the next verse, which some professing have erred concerning the faith, grace be with thee, amen. And so it's very important that we understand, and don't just, don't just let that fly by us. There is something out there called science. At least it's claiming to be science. But it is science falsely so called, and it will cause you to err from the faith. There is a there is a form of mystery religion that is uh, scientific in nature. At least it gives you that facade, that impression. Um, even I would say, like science fiction, is oftentimes uh, basically just the occult with the, just a cool slant to it. That's really all it is. It's the promise of betterment, the promise of making you a higher and greater version of yourself, upgrading yourself, if you will. And uh, there even are people out there in the fringes who are saying that we're going to merge with machines and go fly out into the universe forever. Uh, you see guys like Elon Musk putting a neural chip inside your mind. They're, they're just there's this When you get into this, it gets really weird. But it is not science. It is a science falsely so called. It is a religion. And uh, something happened this week and with quantum uh, entanglement. And this is uh, from the University of Ottawa. And it's really wild. I, I read through this article and th it uses all these big science words that I just, I, I really had to get a, a, <laughs> a, a dictionary just to understand this. But basically they were able to um, lock onto a particle and then film what happened when they locked onto a particle. And here's what it, here's what they found. Uh, this is what it looked like when they did that. Now, does that look familiar to anybody? Um, it's the yin yang. And uh, this article here is from uh, physics.org uh, P phys.org visualizing the mysterious dance quantum entanglement of photons captured in real time researchers at the university of ottawa in collaboration with those people de demonstrated a novel technique that allows the visualization of the wave function of two entangled photons the elementary particles that constitute light in real time. Using the analogy of a pair of shoes, the concept of entanglement can enlighten to selecting a shoe at random. The moment you identify one shoe, the, the nature of the other, whether it be the left or right shoe, is instantly discerned, regardless of its location in the universe. However, the intriguing factor is the inherent uncertainty as associated with identification process until the exact moment of observation. The wave function, a central tenet of quantum of mechanics, and by the way, the wave function that sounds often off just awful lot like frequency and vibration out of hermeticism a central tenant in quantum mechanics provides a comprehensive understanding of, of a particle's quantum state for instance the in the shoe example the wave function of the shoe could carry information such as left or right size color and so on more precisely the wave function enables quantum scientists to predict the probable outcomes uh, various measurements on the quantum entity, and uh, so it, it just goes on. It's really it's just a, a really wild uh, bunch of stuff. But I, I just found it so wild that we claimed in our documentary that this stuff is qu this quantum stuff is yin and yang. It is a, 
borderline, uh, it's, it's actually just a modern version of the cult, is alchemy is what it is, trying to dissect it so that you can extract the fifth element from all of this. And of course, this is available now on our YouTube channel. We want you guys to take all this into consideration. This is actually some very heavy stuff, and I do, I trust me, I do get it. Uh, Third Adam 4 just hit 200,000 views uh, on our channel, and we, we encourage advances. everybody, please take the time to go watch it and understand what the third realm is, what they're trying to do with the Higgs boson, what they're trying to do at CERN, and uh, just check all this that out. could potentially change everything we know about the universe. Ultimately, what they're doing is something called quantum physics, which is a metaphysical concept. They are actually trying to break into the third realm under the illusion and under the guise of advancing technology. I want to give you a Bible story. There was a time in the yeah, so I want you, I want you guys to understand that they're trying they're they're pretending and they're claiming that they're trying to advance technology, but really what they're trying to do is unlock the secrets of the universe in a alchemical sense. They are trying to ultimately become God. They're trying to understand the powers of God and basically bec- do those things themselves. Let me show you this. There's there's the word consist in your Bible, and um, I'm going to show you this. Okay, um, let's see here, cyst, there we go. Uh, it's Colossians chapter 1, and it says, uh, For by him were all things created. And by the way, all the physics of the universe, all of that can be explained with these two verses. Okay, it says, uh, For by him were all, are all things created. That's that's physics, man, and in, uh, that are in heaven and that are in earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones, dominions, principalities, or powers. All things were created by Him and for Him, and He is before all things, and by Him all things consist. So, if you want to understand what keeps particles from flying apart, what keeps you know atoms from flying apart, what keeps everything together, um, it is God that does that, and these people are trying to find that out they're trying to understand all that and god is no part of the equation so if you're a physicist out there and you're watching this and you're into all this stuff and you're not a christian i just want you to understand that you're you're never going to be able to dissect all that well enough to understand who god is god god is the reason that all that exists god is the reason why all that's there and i want you to know that and that god sent his son jesus to die for you on a cross so that you could be saved. That's what this is all about. Listen, the Bible is the word of God. It is. And all the secrets of the universe are in that book, <laughs> if you want to understand it. And uh, God God will tell you what it is in there. So, And I don't mean that in a weird sense. I just mean that in a very practical sense. Friend, this stuff's weird, but I do believe that it is a modern-day version of alchemy and the occult. It is a science, falsely so-called, Go ahead and subscribe to this channel if you're new. Make sure that you take the time to watch Third Adam Ford, The Road to Shambhala. And uh, we appreciate you guys. Smack that like button, and please do that. God bless you, friend. Have a wonderful day.